for quite some time, game publishers have been wanting to monetize their games in different ways, for the sole reason to increase their profits. Content behind paywalls have been a thing since Call of Duty World at War, maybe even before, who knows honestly. But in this modern era of gaming, gaming publishers have thrown themselves into new horizons on how to monetize their games. The first step in this destructive greed was loot boxes, publishers making sure that if you just paid $10, you will be able to earn that gold experience crazy diamond skin for your little baby pistol way faster than if you just grind for it. The next step was to monetize single player campaigns, add loot boxes and hide single player, add on content behind a paywall that can drastically change the experience of your single player campaign. Shadow of Mordor and Assassin's Creed Odyssey are great examples of this cardinal sin. You will think that gaming publishers like EA, Activision or Ubisoft were the only ones that could do this type of horrendous practices, but now a new player has arrived with one of the nastiest ideas on how to monetize a single player campaign, yet again. Bethesda Studios and their plan to charge money to players for cheat codes and there's just one thing left to do. Kokoyori Sekai ni Tamiyo Okay, I'm sorry for that dramatic intro back there. I just let my creativity go wild for a second. <laughs> let me get this straight, even though I think it's pretty obvious, honestly. This gameplay is not mine. It's from the channel of Bethesda Softworks back there on YouTube. And because I do not want to get a copyright strike or anything like that, I will maybe use the gameplay of another game as well. Who knows which game it might be. Maybe Doom, maybe Anthem, or maybe even Apex Legends, but without further ado, let's continue with this video. Yesterday, the 12th of February, Bethesda released a new gameplay for Rage 2, and it's all good, really, really, really good. The game looks amazing, the graphics, the setting, the gunplay, the shooting, the enemies, not the AI. I really think and I really want to think that that AI was on easy difficulty because the AI was pretty silly. Están bien tontos, la verdad, no lo están disparando al protagonista. But it's like if Doom and Mad Max had a baby, literally. And let me say this. Whoever was the one who was the one that made the sound design for the game, for the weapons, explosions, etc. You, my friend, you need a race on its software. It sounds amazingly satisfying, but okay. Apparently, I was right. In my past videos about Bethesda, I have said many, many, many times that Bethesda will find a way to mess or to monetize in-game content from the games developed by its software, beginning with Rage 2 because obviously it's the first one that will come out. It comes the 14th, the 14th of May or the 15th, I do not remember correctly. Bethesda wants to monetize cheat codes from the game. Like, this is a first in the gaming industry. If you think about it honestly, try to think about a publisher monetizing cheat codes inside a game. This is really a first in the gaming industry. Cheat codes have been a thing since Doom 1993, even 
or even before honestly where you could activate cheat codes to give you infinite ammo shields and literally whatever you want the berserk power up invulnerability invisibility whatever it, it was all there you just open the command section of the game type the command give me infinite ammo god damn it and voila you have infinite ammo like that the whole magic of cheat codes inside the games is finding them searching for them some cheat codes are literally discovered by hours upon hours of people trying to find a cheat code using different button combinations on your controller. I was one of those people just smashing my controller randomly trying to find the cheat code for infinite ammo GTA San Andreas. I never found it until I found a guide on, on internet, but okay. And other cheat codes are discovered in several parts of the game or the single player campaign. The whole magic of cheat codes in a game is discovering them, and when you finally discover them, the satisfaction of jumping like Superman, having infinite ammo, or whatever you could do with cheat codes inside the game, is amazing. Truly fascinating, honestly. But now, that is all taken away when you know that actually, cheat codes are going to be inside the game, and even more, that you can get them by an in-game NPC. Essentially, incentivizing players to ruin their single player campaign and using cheat codes to beat it, taking away the magic of the game really fast. Cheat codes must be something that are unlocked after beating your first run of the campaign, not at the very beginning. And yes, I know that in the in-game NPC of Rage 2 is going to be like the in-game NPC of The Division 2, where you can purchase the cheat codes with in-game currency as well, not with real money, but obviously this is Bethesda, we are talking about a publisher that is right now not in financial crisis, but is in a very weird mind state because Fallout 76 was a complete disaster of a game business-wise and money-wise because yes, it did, it did poorly on sales and they are trying to get out from the pit known as financial disability, honestly, and they are trying to find a any way to be able to monetize uh, things inside the game. And what is bad for Rage 2 of monetizing cheat codes? Well, first because they are implementing cheat codes inside the game, in an NPC store. And even if you are able to buy the cheat codes with in-game currency, obviously Bethesda wants to incentivize you on buying the cheat codes with real money. So maybe they are going to make the game really really hard on higher difficulties, really really unfair if you do not use cheat codes, or pretty much that the in-game currency you earn inside the game is not going to be enough for you to buy cheat codes so in one way or another they are going to force you to buy the cheat codes and that is not good honestly bethesda wanting to monetize cheat codes something that are literally essential for any single player campaign further proves that the disaster that was fallout 76 in terms of sales has set a pretty big burden on bethesda economically and they are trying to somehow get away from having financial trouble and i really do understand if they want to further improve their sales and money earnings the fastest and right thing to do from a business standpoint is to monetize in-game content and because Rage 2 and Doom Eternal are going to be a pretty big cash grabber, that's what they are doing. I am going to be brutally honest with this. This is not a bad thing. Monetizing cheat codes? <laughs> At least they are not giving us loot boxes, season passes, cutting single player content from the game and giving it to us in the form of DLCs. Not. No. This is just cheat codes we are talking about, things that honestly I haven't used since GTA San Andreas, and things that not many people use on games. It is really just an insignificant thing. I know that there are quite some people out there that like to use cheat codes on games, but what I think people are pissed about is that if Bethesda is that if Bethesda is acknowledging that Rage 2 is going to have cheat codes and because uh, and that because the PC release of the game will be on the Bethesda launcher in which you are going to need to be always connected to the internet to play then you can say goodbye to mod support and overall to any other cheats and mods that are not made specifically by its software, Avalanche Studios, and accepted by Bethesda. And that is just unacceptable. Mod support in open world games 
is one of the many reasons why games like Skyrim and Fallout are loved so much by the players, because of all of the crazy things you can do inside the games with mods. It is truly fascinating, and Bethesda, a publisher well known to have its games heavily modified by mods, not having mod support on a game made by its best developer, its software, is just a dead sentence to many people. Yet again, I think it's not that bad that Bethesda is monetizing cheat codes on Rage 2. It's just silly, honestly. Bethesda trying to literally get that much money possible out from the game, but this just opens the question. How far will a publisher go to monetize their game? Developers are in charge of making the game, but in-game add-on content or microtransactions or possible ways to monetize in-game content from the game itself is decided entirely by the higher-ups of the publishers in a boardroom. In two years, we are going to see microtransactions where the player can purchase separate pieces of your character lines inside the game. Oh. Wait, I really hope Bethesda can get out of this weird mind state they are on. I'm not talking about my experience, I am talking about facts. Bethesda is one of the most beloved publishers out there, and has been for quite some time. But all of this Fallout 76 disaster has alienated Bethesda from its former self, and has went math, literally, and is trying desperately to regain the love and acceptance it once had. But monetizing insignificant things like cheat codes just further proves to just at what extent they can go to pull themselves from the pit that is called financial disability. And I know that I've said that Bethesda monetizing cheat codes in Rage 2 is, is not a bad thing, because it's really not. If I, when I purchase Rage too, you can bet that I'm not going to purchase uh, cheat codes with real money or in-game currency because in and on itself they are cheat codes, they are apparently going to sell you infinite ammo and infinite whatever, infinite um, abilities to use without a cooldown, whatever. In and on itself, they are cheat codes and they are going to ruin my experience with Rage 2. That is just for the people that want to buy the cheat codes after they have completed the game. What I'm very scared about is that uh, right now, publishers have a very weird mind state and a, and a very unsustained business uh, system. And I'm scared that they are going to actually make the game even harder if you do not purchase the cheat codes and that in and on itself is just bad because we shouldn't be able to use cheats in the first place on games but that is my only concern and please leave a comment down below what is your concern about having cheat codes inside Rage 2 and monetizable cheat codes as well i really want to know your opinion and so okay spartans please leave a comment down below what you think about this video leave a like if you did and leave a dislike if you didn't i want to make videos on rage 2 because i never i never told myself midnight rage 2 is an amazing game and it's made by its software, the makers of Doom, so you should do videos on Rage 2 as well, and I am going to do it when the game comes out on May the 14th, and maybe some analysis videos on the game as well, but... Okay, Spartans, do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch, join the Discord server, and... Uh, yeah. It's so, okay, Spartans, that is all for today. If you guys liked the video, slap a like on it. I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, take care, and I love you very, very much. Thanks for watching, Spartans. I really do appreciate it. Bye bye. Cuando me tarde? Cuando me tarde? 17 minutes. Okay, it's not that bad.